Uh, right, yes, we're going to have one more act in the middle section. Have you got some energy left to make it very welcome? Yes. Thank you very much. I've been running that one out around the country for a while now, and people are always a little bamboozled by how diddly do. What do you reckon, how diddly do, Monsieur? <laughs> Beautiful, very good. Always trust the bald man in the front row, that's what I say. Uh, especially when I went French halfway through. I don't know what happened there. Um, but hello, it's lovely to be here in this poodly club. Um, it's very glittery, my God. Um, I'm indeed Eddie McKenzie, um, and uh, I'm not from Rowley's parts. You might be, you might be wondering, yes, yes. Who is this hairy, fairy little chap that stands in front of you? It's a, it's a mystery to us all. Uh, some of you with slightly more attuned hearing might have figured out from my very normal accent that I, of course, live in the East End. Of Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> we all sound like me at Celtic Park, son. I tell you that. Me and the boys with an H on a match day. <laughs> very nice. I don't know why they've got an H in there. It's just showing off as far as I'm concerned. Um, but no one ever believes that I'm from Glasgow. Not, uh, nonetheless, the east end of Glasgow um, until I stab them. And then, uh, and then uh, what's, what's going down? Um, you, you, that really gets the message across. I tell you that no one questions a boy with a with a sharpened toothbrush in his hand. Um, you, you might believe that I'm from Scotland because of the amount of sun I caught today. Um, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see the. <laughs> Neapolitan boy. Um, all I did was I met a friend and we walked for bloody hours. <laughs> this is what happens to, to young men from Scotland. It's not natural, I tell you. Um, but anyway, let's let's get on with things, show. I've got a bloody show to do. Um, but before I get on with my stuff, and I, uh, I've had enough of wiffle waffling for now, I need to do my bits and pieces. So, uh, but I need your help, ladies and gentlemen of the Poodle Club. I need your help to welcome my little friend to the stage. It's all that kind of show birthday, please. That's later on up the road, yes, but uh, I do need your help, so I've got an accomplice for this next section. So if I can get you all to make kind of ooh noises. The doors are locked, the guard dogs are in place. <laughs> Yous are going nowhere. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, I thought we'd, we'd have a nice little sing song, if that's all right. Um, this is the, the token musical comedian under diversity. Huh? We're trying trying something a little different. Uh, let's see, can we... Is that coming across the... Oh, you are a nice. Almost in tune, that'll do. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, you know, as a musical comedian, I am. Um, oh heck, let's uh, set the old timer there. They told me they weren't too lenient on the time, but let's not take the piss, shall we? So we'll get the timer running here. On my, you will agree, otherwise quite useless fitness band. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't get out a lot, I tell you, you know. I didn't even wear it today when I was walking the canals of North London. Like, it's useless, it's useless. It lives in the gig bag and that's the life it leaves. It is, it is a timepiece. With all these other functions that I couldn't give a damn about. So, we'll check the heart rate later on, see how it's going. Uh, Mr. Benjamin, earlier on, mentioned the Beatles. Uh, have we got any fans in? <laughs> Woo! Very good, because what I've done is I've ripped them off. <laughs> um, for all the Beatles fans, I'd like to pay close attention to this next ditty, uh, which I've uh, remastered as my introduction music, and see if you can figure out what tune I have brutalised. <laughs> Oh, look at all you lovely people. 
Sure. Eleanor Rigby, what a banger, what a classic number that I have, if anything, improved. And, <laughs> you know, I don't feel too bad about standing up here and ripping the royal arts out of the Beatles. Yeah. Because what are you going to do about it? Yeah? There's only two of the buggers left at this point. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, I could take Paul. And, uh, Paul's an easy one, um, as a rough, tough man from the east end of Glasgow. Yeah. I'm having him, I'm having yeah. him. Um, I must say though, I'm a little concerned about Ringo. You know what I mean? He's got an evil eye. <laughs> Does Ringo star, so nobody tell him, all right? If you run into Ringo, or that son of his, uh, don't tell him, all right, let's be cool. Nobody grasps me in, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll burst you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dear, dear. Um, let's carry on, shall we, and try and get to know this strange little man who is uh, uh, continuing to claim to be from the East End of Glasgow. It's an outrageous business. Um, I don't know how I'm going to survive, but I may take a slight sidewinder here. This, uh, what do we think of my lovely t-shirt here? Woo! Woo! Oh, nice. Um, it's just wonderful, isn't it? Yes. Um, because I, I'm one of those lunatics who's gone and got himself a girlfriend. Um, the problem is she lives in Hawaii. <laughs> because I never do things easily. It's always ridiculous with Eddie McKenzie. And I'm going to visit her in July. Yay! In Hawaii. In July. This was London in April. <laughs> I'm going to look like this by the end. Anyway, that's just a little thing for brownie points, maybe. Who knows? Um, who's a fan of country and western? The man with the hat's very nice. Uh, do you work on the ranch or? Well, you look you look like a dab hand, sir. Very nice. Uh, we'll try and get through it together. This one's for you, sir. Oh dear. See how it goes. I got a real big head and tiny arms. So I play on a small guitar. Five foot five, I'm built like a bowling ball. Well, I'd brown hair, ginger beard, look how strange, look real weird. I got small feet, my legs are from swing in the air. <laughs> All my little brothers are twice my height. Hard to beat them when we get in a fight. I just hold my ground and wait till they get tired. <laughs> they tell me it comes from my mother's side. You think I'd be ashamed, but I got nothing to hide. Oh, I'm just a little guy, but my voice does all the talking for me. Ha <laughs> 
Life is really caused a whole lot of car crashes. I might sound posh, but I haven't got the table manners. An absolute mess. I'm always warm. I snore like a hog. Sweat all night and I drool like a dog. You won't get a good night's sleep if you bunk with me. I pick my nose, I can't reach my shells, can't touch my toes. I gotta wear glasses, and I'm slowly going deaf. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now. You, woo, you might not agree, but the line goes, you might think it sucks to be me. But I got that body positivity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the town. I'm proud of who I am and all the things I can do. <laughs> because I'm loud and I'm proud. I'm just a little guy. But Cause I'm loud. Yes, Ranch Boy, and I'm proud. I'm just a little guy, but I make a big boom in You guys are lovely. Goodness me. Um, my little fitness band vibrated about halfway through that. <laughs> um, or I was having a heart attack. It was, it was one or t'other. The notification was gone. Which means we've probably got time for one last little ditty. Yeah. Um, we'll keep things short and sweet like moi. Uh, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Um, I, li I li legitimately do live in Scotland and I've come down for some gigs this weekend <laughs> and this has been the P.S. de Resistance. Um, I know it's, it's nonsense and people say that all the time but bloody hell they have got better each day so thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Scotland and tell them that English people are all right, actually. <laughs> this, is, this has been a democratic mission. <laughs> so let's finish with a nice little bang, shall we? And you can all have a little sing-along as well. It's got a very, uh, a very one of my favourite choruses is in this song. And it's very easy to sing, and you'll see what I mean when it comes out. Um, but it's, uh, hello, save your questions to the end. Um, we'll, have, we'll have a full Q&A. Um, but this one is very short, very nice, very jaunty. And it's all about, you know, the, uh, the concept of polite society. Um, and I've noticed down here in London there might not be so many polite people. Um, but um, we still try, you know. We try and maintain a bit of dignity and push through and remain civilised. In the face of all the rudeness and the nonsense about it. They're calling me big man, but I'm only five for five. They want to call me fat, but they're trying to be nice. Because society relies on these lies. Don't see what we mean, so it do not sound mean. Yes. Ooh, that's literally do be do boo be do be do It'll come back, don't worry. Hey, how are you doing? How are you today? No one's really asking. We want to walk away, but still comes a question. It's how we were raised. Don't say what we mean, so it don't sound mean. Do be do boo. Do be do boo. Do be do boo. Do be do boo. We're the stiff upper lip and the rod of our asses. We all act best until the moment passes. Because we're all afraid of offending our neighbors. So we all <laughs> pretend to have the best behaviors. <laughs> But we're all cunts. <laughs> Once in a while, do me do boo me do me do, do me do boo me do me do. You can say something like cunt and then ooh, finish it up. 
with Kenzie, you've been absolutely wonderful.